The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you need some help, feel free to give us a call at 563-503-6910. That's 563-503-6910. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney at O'Flaherty Law. I practice here in the state of Iowa, and my practice areas include business transactional matters, landlord-tenant and real estate matters, as well as some family law. Now today, we're going to talk about whether or not a spouse's extramarital affair will impact an Iowa divorce. First, is a spouse's affair grounds for divorce in Iowa? Now, Iowa is a no-fault state for divorce. This means that the marriage will dissolve when there's evidence of a breakdown in the marriage relationship and there's no likelihood that it can be preserved. If a court asks a party to present evidence of a breakdown of the marriage or a likelihood that the marriage cannot be preserved, a party may introduce testimony or other evidence of the affair. However, the affair itself is not on its own grounds for divorce in, a state of I in the state of Iowa. Will a spouse's affair affect the distribution of property? Now, Iowa is an equitable distribution state. This means that the court will divide all assets, uh, whether they were acquired before or after the marriage. The court will um, make this uh, determination uh, by what is equitable. Iowa Code 598.21 lists several factors a court must consider when distributing the property. However, none of those factors is infidelity in a marriage. There is one case that involved a couple that had a written agreement that said if the husband's infidelity led to a couple's divorce, they would make certain payments and distributions of property if the wife wanted to divorce. The court found that this agreement was unenforceable and threw it out. Likewise, if you were to make such an agreement, it would also be thrown out. Next, will a spouse's affair affect the amount of support they are required to pay? Child support is determined based on a set mathematical formula set out by the Iowa Supreme Court. This outlines various child support guidelines and it's unlikely that infidelity would change that. The spousal support statute does not list a party's infidelity as a reason for allowing for spousal support. Additionally, there is no case law that supports providing any spousal support specifically due to infidelity. As affairs are somewhat common in today's society, it's not likely that a court would award spousal support solely based on an affair. Finally, can an affair impact the custody determination for the child? The custody determination is made by Iowa courts and they do consider parties indiscretions if the child was harmed by that behavior. The court does not use custody as a reward or punishment for past behavior. However, if the infidelity did impact the child's living situation, there could be some um, consideration in that. It is possible that an affair could harm the relationship between the parties enough that it affects other factors the courts do look at, such as the ability for the parties to communicate or the ability for the parties to help children have a good relationship with the other parent. If the person with whom the spouse was having an affair with had concerns such as a significant criminal history, it could raise additional questions about the parent's judgment and weigh against them in the determination of custody. If the person, if that person were exposed to the children, it would weigh heavily against that parent. As always, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us at our firm. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. Hi, Kevin O'Flaherty again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need some help, please feel free to give us a call at 563-503-6910. That's 563-503-6910. We have many geographical locations for your convenience, and we practice several areas of law. 
Thanks again for watching.